in this discussion you can see how to delete records or menus or actions or any type of views using delete tag we will see the real test case and in case you missed previous discussion about how to call function or other terms like as a method you can see the function tag in the description and right now we are working on this playlist here like Odoo data files part 6 and if you are following this Odoo version 13 and 14 development technical training you don't need to follow this channel because this is the main channel and those are the sub playlist of this main playlist so if you want to see the topic wise tutorial you can see like this way like we have a CLI commands and after available data types or other terms like as available fields in Odoo and after how many Odoo supports default methods or functions you can see here then after models attribute like we already covered some of the attributes here but in future we will cover all the attributes then after you can see here the Odoo examples and here you can see the editor related playlist and if you want to see the python related examples th those are not a basic one but this is very useful like how to create a json file how to read json file merge pdf file split pdf file like all the topics it will cover here with the example and all the source code is available in github and you can see here in about page you can go to here the website and after we have a Facebook page and LinkedIn page and if you have any query you can shoot directly to this email and here we have a list of links so let's come back to our main topic let's say for example uh, if you already know in previous discussions we already see like how to add how to create records then after how to update the records and then after how we can call function or other terms like how we can call python method using function tag so all are about updating and creating records but today in this discussion we will see how you can delete the record the specific record using xml file we will see the real test test let's go to the editor first and right now let me open this Odoo training custom add-ons and school underscore student first I will open this data directory and I will open this student underscore data dot xml file now you can see we already created records here like this is student profile then after we created like school profile the same school profile and here the same school profile right we already explain each and everything but if you want to see like how to add many to one field or any other relational field you can see the previous discussions then after we see the, like how we can add records using csv file like this right so now for example i want to delete a specific record let's say this student underscore five let's say this jet halal this jet halal record we have to delete from the database then how we can delete okay so let me go to again in browser let me open the student profile uh, let me go to the menu one and list and you can see here all the 19 records is available right including the jet halal you can see this one so this is the jet halal record and right now the database id is 280 now i want to delete this record i'm going to here then after i'm going to again here and create a new directory like delete data dot xml something like this and let me open uh, let me copy this tags and 
let me add this main odoo tag as a parent tag then after i have to add as a delete tag like this and here i have to mention the id and the model name that's it same as the function tag here the id we have to use the existing id of the xml file or csv file for example this is the student underscore five of this zhalal record so i'm using this id because this is id and this is unique in the specific database and i already explained why we need to use a unique xml id right so this is the reason like we can do anything so i'm just copy this one like student underscore five and right now i will paste here directly and here in the model we have to use which model we have to use so for example right now we are using this model school dot student now i will paste here school dot student that's it now what i will do is i created a new xml file so i must have to register in manifest file right so i'm going to in end of this data list and i will add here like data then after dot delete underscore data dot xml file all right now i'm going to here in terminal and yeah before one more thing is before i will restart and upgrade the module you have to understand is for example right now this student underscore files exist in the same module school underscore student so here it is not necessary you have to add here the model name also like school underscore student dot and after this name because this is the same directory and we are using that id in the same directory so it's an optional thing but for example i i'm trying to delete any record from the school profile for example the school underscore six then i must have to add here that model name otherwise it will raise the error let me first try without the module name and then after i will try with the module name so what happened in this situation so right now i am using odoo version 13 database and i am using minus u as upgrade the module and the module name so right now i am upgrading from the back end side from the terminal side not from the front end side okay it successfully executed there is no any error and right now i'm going to here and refresh the page but before refresh the page you can see here the re total records is 19 now you can see records are 18 and you can see like you cannot see the jet halal record here it's a student right because it's already deleted from the database now i will try to delete other modules record for example the student underscore data like you can see school underscore five let me open like school xml five as a school profile okay so you can see school xml5 is a school name and we are trying to delete this record and you can see total 13 record is there now i will delete school dot profile okay same thing and right now you can see right now i'm not using any directory here because let's raise the error first we can understand that error and then after we will see like how we can 
solve that error. Now I'm upgrading the module. Okay, so it means like irmodel.xml lookup like school underscore student dot school underscore five key error and this is not found you can see here skipping delete uh, deletion for a missing xml id school underscore five why because odoo treats as a this school underscore five is in the same module in the school underscore student but actually this id is existing school module so we have to simply use like school dot and then after school underscore five that's it now i am trying to upgrade the module one more time and you can see here without any error it will delete the record now you can see here like total 13 record is there but let me refresh the page it it will be like 12 records only so you can see here like school xml5 the school name is not available here so like this way you can delete the specific xml id using like this way okay so now what about you mentioned some records in csv file let's say this hobby we have a list of hobbies like uh, approx 17 hobbies is there and let me delete this hobby like hobby underscore 11 and the record name is hobby and 8 let me go to front end side and in hobby you can see total 19 hobbies is there and i want to delete this hobby underscore 11 now i am going to here so hobby underscore 11 having the, this id so right now i will do is i'm going to here delete id then after model and here the model name and here i will add that id like hobby underscore 40 hobby underscore 40 and actually this is the same module in the school underscore student profile so it is not mandatory you can add here the prefix name as a school underscore student dot hobby underscore 40 this is not necessary but it's a good practice you can mention module name itself along with the id so other developers can understand okay this is the module name and in this module having this record id okay so let me restart the service and upgrade the module okay so why this error is rising because student 5 is created trying to create using the data file but here you can see we already deleted the school dots to school underscore 5 record this record and this record is trying to access and it's not available that's why it's rising the error so we can solve this issue using going to here and instead of the 5 we can use 6 here and we can re-execute the same command okay it's upgraded but here you can see it's raised one error but it's you can see the external id not found in the system like school dot school underscore file because we upgraded this module 
so that's the reason like first time we upgrade the module that time in database this external id is found and due to this it's deleted the record now second time we re-execute the same module and it will re-execute the same command this delete command and in the database side it's not found if you remember i already explained like for example first time it's delete there is no any issue it will successfully delete the record and if and the same process repeat then it will rise the error but don't worry it it won't be effect in front end side so odoo automatically so odoo don't have any issue and it will execute successfully front end side you can see like this and you can't see the hobby 11 here so this is the case like you can delete also records from the csv file only one thing is it should have external id this id is available in any xml file or csv file if external id is not found then you cannot delete any record and one more thing is you not only delete this specific record but you can also delete views then after action server actions menus a lot but the one condition is it should be available the external id for example let's say i'm going to in view part in view.xml part let me try to delete this menu 2 so menu 2 having this id right and i'm going to here like delete id and i'm pasting this one and model name is ir ui dot menu and right now i'm upgrading the module one more time and in front end side you can see the menu 2 is available but once i will refresh the page you can't see the menu 2 okay it's upgraded successfully and let me refresh the patch now you can see the menu 2 is not available so same way like the form view also like form view tray view kanban view calendar view any view or any menus or any server actions or windows which having an external id external id means so in bug menu you can see here the view metadata and view metadata having this xml id here then you you can able to do this thing from the back end side otherwise you have to do from the code itself so i hope you understood this delete tag in case you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session